should not take all day. Come here, face. You're out here with your brothers and you're out here accomplishing something with family members. And I think in life there's not too many more special opportunities than that. And those are times that you'll talk about years from now. Up one! Down. Look after each other. Up two! Help each down. other. Basically their job was to physically put so much on us that we just felt like we couldn't do any more. I, I felt like I couldn't do any more push-ups, couldn't do any more sit-ups. You find a way. Embrace it and just keep going. I definitely think it was a good learning experience and I, it brought us closer together as a team. When you go through that adversity of, you know, all of us just dead tired, can't do any more reps and we, we have to, we have to find a way and knowing we can count on one another that in a game when we're just exhausted, you know, two overtimes, you know, we're going to fight through and find a way. <laughs> You know, for me, it's about functionally being the best basketball player you can be. Strength is part of that, but that doesn't necessarily mean weight. It means functional strength. It means basketball-related strength. The physicality and the speed I wasn't ready for when I walked onto campus. Um, I think as, as I went throughout the year, I, I adjusted pretty well. And then towards the end of the year, I just, I hit the wall. I, I've put a lot of effort into the weight room. Uh, I've talked, sat down with Schwag and, um, you know, he basically talked to me how I attack workouts on the basketball floor. I need to do the same thing in the weight room if I want to continue to improve my game and make a big jump this year. Yeah, I mean, his body is completely transformed. I mean, he's, you know, put on 10 pounds but just seeing him develop as a vocal leader and seeing him develop as a, you know, physically has been really exciting so far. Baseline, kicks right corner, McIntosh takes the three from the right, good! Three pointer, Ryan McIntosh, we're tied Yeah, his ups and downs, but overall, um, he was tremendous from the start of the year to the finish of the year, and, and going into year two, um, I think it'll be he'll be even that much better, and it's nice to know uh, you have a guy running your team that that has the same vision that you do as a staff and has the talent to be able to carry it out on the court. Just being able to rub elbows with you know my favorite player was tremendous. I can't I can't really describe it any better than that. It was just kind of a dream come true being able to work with you know Steph and getting to know him and seeing you know how in the summer he goes about working on his game and you know getting better at his craft. Yeah so I was at the Nike Basketball Academy um, you know it was a world-class experience um, you know being playing against some of the top college players in the country. It shows just like we talked about with Brian how Trey is regarded I mean those are things you have to be invited to those skill academies. The evolution of Trey Demps uh, has been amazing since the moment I got here. I mean, he was here every night. You know, I'm working late hours and I hear the ball bouncing. It was him. Uh, early in the morning, you come in, he's in here. Uh, there, there wasn't a more dedicated guy that we had from day one than he was. We need Trey um, to be one of the top players in the Big Ten. He's a fifth year senior. Um, he's a go-to guy, and he's at the best place personally, the best I've ever seen him. He's primed to have a great senior year. On June 13th, uh, I got married to my lovely wife, whose name is Heather Demps now. Um, you know, we complement each other perfectly, and you know, I just couldn't be more happier to have someone like that for the rest of my life. It was, it was wonderful to have them, you know, a part of that, uh, to celebrate with me. And I think the, the, the funnest part was seeing um, that we really wanted to do at the wedding was have them in the family section. And I really wanted to make that intentional because that's really how I feel about my teammates.
now when I hear that ball bouncing at night, it's not just Trey. And those are things every day you got to instill. And that's where the word culture comes in. And you know, that's what that's the thing that I've been most proud of is in these two years, the development of a winning culture.